Hopefully you've got a good handle on all of the subnetting information that we've covered so far and you'd be able to work your way through a subnetting problem. But let's actually verify that now by doing a practice question. So the question is, what are the network address, the broadcast address, and the valid host addresses for the IP address of 198.22.45.173/26? And the second part of the question, what is the subnet mask in dotted decimal notation? So stop the video now, please, and figure that out. When you come back, I'll walk you through how we arrive at the answer. Okay, so let's look at how we are going to figure out the answer to the question. We're actually going to do the second part of the question first because it's more logical and easier to do it that way. So the second part of the question was, what is the subnet mask slash 26 in dotted decimal? And the way to do this, whenever you're working out a subnetting problem, particularly at the start, is to write out the bit pattern at the top of a piece of paper. Now later on, you'll be able to do a lot of these in your head, but when you're first learning, it's way easier to write it all out like this. So take a piece of paper, start off and at the top, start off at the right and write 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8. And then you can put a dot in and then 1, 2, 4, 8 and so on until you've drawn out your the bit pattern for the four octets in your subnet mask. Then the question that we had was we had to work out the dotted decimal notation for a slash 26. So just under your, your bit pattern at the top of the paper, write out 26 ones underneath that, and then you can put in six O's for the host portion of the address. Also draw a line in where the line is for the subnet mask. And then we can just add these up. So obviously the first octet is all ones, it's gonna be 255. The second octet is also gonna be 255. The third octet is also 255. And then at the fourth octet, where we're doing the subnetting here, the ones are in the 128 and the 64. So we add 128 and 64 together to give us 192. So a slash 26 in dotted decimal notation is 255.255.255.192. Okay, let's look at what the second part of the question was. What is the network address, the broadcast address, and a valid host address for the IP address 198.22.45.173 slash 26? So again, we use our piece of paper and we're gonna write out the IP address now as well. You can see that I've done it on the top part here. That is the bit pattern for 198 dot 22.45.173 that's how we would write it in decimal and the network portion of the, of the address is the first 26 bits so i can see that that is 198.22.45 and then i just count whatever is in the first two bits here and i've got a one for the 128 and a zero for the 64 so that means it's 128 so the network address is 198.22.45.128. Don't worry about the text yet, by the way. This is a second way that we can figure out the answer that I'll get to in a second. I'm gonna explain how to do it the long way first. So the long way is the logical way to do it at first. Again, we write out the IP address and the subnet mask in binary notation, and we put in the line where the subnet mask is. From that, we can figure out what the network address is. Like I just said, 198.22.45.128, I can see it here. Then we figure out what the broadcast address is. So that would be if we had a one in all of the host bits. So that would be a one on the 32 up to the one. And if we add up 32 plus 16 plus eight plus four plus two plus one, okay, that's 32 plus 16 is 48 plus eight is 56, plus four is 60, plus two, 62, plus one is 63. So the network portion of the address was dot 128. 128 plus 63 is gonna be 191. So again, the network address is 192.22.45.128 the broadcast address 
is 198.22.45.191. So we've got the network address and the broadcast address. The possible host addresses are going to be the addresses that lie between those two numbers. So that would be 198.22.45.191. Going up to 198.22.45.190. Okay, so that's how we can figure it out very manually and very logically. We can take a little bit of a shortcut, and what we do is again, you saw this in the last lecture, we look at where the line is. So the line is here after the 64. So I know that my subnets go up in multiples of 64. So the first one is going to be 198.22.45.0, then 45.64, then .128, and so on. I can see that this address that I'm interested in is 198.22.45.173. So first subnet is 0, then 64, then 128. The next one would be 128 plus 64, which is going to be 192. So this is less, 173 is less than the 192, so it must be in the 128 network. Okay, so I know this is, this is in the network 198.22.45.128. I then add on 64. I know to add on 64 because that's where the line is. And the next network address would be 192. So if the next network address is 192, it must mean that the broadcast address for this subnet is one less than that, it's gonna be 191. So there, I've, I've figured out my network address is 128. I figured out that my broadcast address is 191. The available hosts must be everything in between. That would be 198.22.45.129 to 198.22.45.190. Okay, so that is how we can figure it out. And a final important point to tell you here is notice that everything was done on where the subnet line is. And in fact, this example is a slash 26, so that is in the last octet. So we don't actually need to worry about the first three octets. They're always going to be unchanged as 198.22.45 in our example. So you can save some time by only writing out the octet that the subnetting is happening on. You don't have to write the whole thing out in full every time. Okay, so that was a quick example of how we will solve a subnetting question, the kind of thing that you could see on the CCNA exam. Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands-on practice with Cisco Networks for free, then you can download my 400-page CCNA lab guide, which you can see above my head right now. Also, check out the video about my CCNA course. It's the highest-rated course online. Thanks.